what it, I mean, how did you get into physics and philosophy and maths? And I mean, I mean are you, oh I mean, is it an even distribution across those three disciplines? And, you know, is, is one of them more fundamental for you? Um, physics is more fun. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's, no, that's uh, cool. Okay, so <laughs> physics is more fundamental for me. I became interested in physics when I was um, about 11 years old when I got Michio Kaku's book, uh, Beyond Einstein, and also his book, Par I believe it was Parallel Worlds. And um, I became entranced with the idea of a unified field theory based on those works. But I also felt that string theory seemed needlessly complicated, was my feeling. <laughs> so basically, I got this idea that I wanted to solve this when I was 11. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and uh, I organized my life plan around doing that. Wow. <laughs> so I, I majored in physics and also philosophy although I didn't finish philosophy and I did finish physics. <laughs> and, so you, um, so you had opinions on string theory at the age of 11. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it seems I was frustrated that like something that became apparent reading the books was that you couldn't test it now. We would have mm. to test it much later. So like Michio kind of used, Kaku used this phrase that was like 23rd century physics that fell into the 20th century or something like that. And I was just <laughs> like, mm, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but, um, so I became very interested in quantum physics. My mother got me books. She, I was homeschooled. My mother got me books by Fred Allen Wolf. I was obsessed with black holes and time warps. And she's like, well, you need to study quantum too, because she had seen something in Omni about entanglement. <laughs> and we had discussed that a long, long time before that. So I was, wow. so when I saw it again, I was, I was, I was very intrigued. <laughs> so that's, so you, that's, that's an amazing, um, sort of badge of honor for homeschooling isn't it <laughs> yeah 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 especially when you have a mom as intelligent as my mom she was a musician and kind of a armchair philosopher but she had very deep thoughts so we were constantly having philosophical conversations as well so that mm. was sort of where my philosophical interest came from and her her uh, father was a um a baptist um uh minister but also like a theologian type so the philosophy kind of came through that tree mm. so which was my, the which was the kind of the, the, the deeper, where were the deepest questions for you? What was it that really drove your kind of, um, your passion? Was it, was it that um, field theory you wanted to resolve? I want, yeah, I wanted to solve the UFT because mm. I thought that maybe if we get that, we could do some amazing things, you know, like maybe, I mean, like as an 11 year old, I dreamed about things like time travel and I still haven't quite given up on it. <laughs>